this is Fuzzy Wee Man, and I'm gonna jump right into this because this is um, gonna be a long game because I did a massive amount of models for Guardsmen. So basically some Guardsmen versus some Necrons and a frick ton of them. So we will just dive into this by seeing who has the greatest strategic advantage. Guardsmen do. So Guardsmen could choose which corner we're doing, and then that'll also determine what corners we're all going to. <clears throat> they're actually thinking of choosing over here. So that means Necrons will be here, and it'll be going like that. Necrons deploy first. Oh, right, um, to let you know even what mission I'm doing, because you just see things kind of set up. I'm doing sweep and clear. <clears throat> Matched mission from the original rulebook. Because they're objectives. But if any team is broken broken at the end, well, if there's one unbroken team, winner. And the only thing is they have to be five inches away from the start. So the Necrons are kind of going to go for the probably just try to break the guard because the guard can sit there on the um on a lot of objectives <clears throat> let's put a plasma gunner over here and these points don't matter until uh, the objectives don't matter until the very very end so He's going to go a little bit further back. He's the actual sniper, but he's kind of hanging back because he expects these guys to come forward and he kind of wants to be able to shoot someone. Okay, they're at least getting some guardsmen over here. <clears throat> and now guardsmen in a lot of places. <clears throat> That's the farthest forward I could put some guardsmen there. Basically there. A uh, blob. <laughs> right, I think it's like 12 inches for voice of command. Yep, he can give out orders up 12 inches. <clears throat> it is a kill team. <laughs> Send in the simple kill team. Yes. <clears throat> All right, let's remove these markers since they don't really matter anymore. We leave the pennies because the pennies are objectives. <clears throat> All right. Round one. That was a very fast deployment. Who's got the initiative? Necrons rolled that double six, so they clearly have the initiative. All right, what's their usual movement? It's only like five inches, right? <clears throat> well, these guys are ten. But yeah, these two are five. This one's gonna advance. I 
It's not going to be necessarily locked in combat, but it's making it so that way a lot of guardsmen can have, can't, uh, you know, it's like if he gets into combat next turn, he can start chewing through these guardsmen easily. And this guy's also going to advance. Well, well, actually. Yeah, he's going to advance. Doesn't need to go far. Not one extra inch is fine. <clears throat> He's actually going to go like that. He doesn't want to necessarily be in people's faces right away. Avoid some of that plasma guns immediately. <clears throat> Alright, now... Um, guardsman movement? Woo! And this guy's going to advance. Actually, I need to double check orders. It's been a while. Alright, save that for later. Because that's the start of shooting phase. This guy's gonna advance. So he's gonna get two inches and two extra inches. Eight in total. He's going over there. This guy's gonna advance. I'm gonna go for a nice ten. That's six. That's four. This guy's gonna advance. This guy's gonna go up there. Okay, I'll take at least these people who advanced They're over there. And this one will at least ready up. Oh, yeah, and this plasma already up. <clears throat> He's got some shots. <clears throat> this guy's going to advance. Six. And three. Try not to. If this guy, if they lock him in combat right now, he can go from, say, whoever he kills to, say, that guy. So, I don't want to charge him and lock him up. But they're just going to kind of start spreading out. Save, spread the crap out. Um... Sure, ready, ready. Well, no, the sergeant might want to move. Go three there, three there. All right, sergeant is advancing a bit, so he gets to move his one extra inch. There he goes. He wants to be able to give orders to these guys. So 
So at the start of the shooting phase, orders happen. So he's going to give an order to this model, move, 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 which now advances if it's the fight phase, or the movement phase, so... Doesn't say you can't do it to a model that's advanced, so... Six plus another three. Boop. And then they'll spend one command point to also give that order to this model. So... Six plus one. So, you know, now they've really moved around. And now they've really are everywhere. Um, ready models go first. And hey, they're Cadians, so when they um, don't move, they actually um, <clears throat> get to reroll ones. So this guy is going to double tap him. Four is to hit. Nothing. Um, this guy. Alright, I'm gonna have to somehow check his view. This guy's shoulder just barely gets past this guy to see the, his legs on the side. So, he does have an open shot at him. <coughs> he will overcharge. Forced to hit, reroll one, speed sees Cadian. Doesn't matter. He's gonna fire over a charge at this guy. I have verified he also has um, an unobscured shot. He is the sniper. Comms will add one to his shot roll, so threes to hit. Two hits. He didn't need the comms help. Um, I think they're toughness five, so I think. It doesn't matter. Yeah, toughness five, so the um, overcharging doesn't really help the... Um, yeah, make it twos to wound, so it's still threes to wound. Both wound. AP minus three, so two, three up saves. Uh, the six up saves for the Necron. Saved one of them. Um... Do they want to spend a command? They will spend a command point to try to reroll that. No hope. So doing the t overcharge helped here because it goes through both his wounds and goes to an injury roll. Hey, and they didn't roll that six, so they killed him. So just having two plasma guns is probably enough for the ne the guard to be okay. Calm says two shots, and he'll take it at this guy. I think this one is obscured. I'm not going to try to check again. So I'll just say fives to hit. Reroll ones. Actually gets a hit. Um, strength three versus toughness five is five to wound. Doesn't wound. It's not at six to wound yet. <laughs> okay, now we go to non-ready models. Starting with Necrons. So they got this guy. Might as well double check him. Particle caster. Let's shoot at the guy who is a date and who could shoot. So it's gonna be long range, so it's gonna be four to hit. <laughs> it hits. Strength six, so two to wound. <laughs> Wounds. AP zero, though, so he gets his five-up armor save. Which he makes. Whoop. All right, what guardsman shoot next? Um, you know what? This guy's going to shoot back at him because the only people that could shoot at him is, like, this guy, but it's still going to be obscured, so he might as well just shoot at someone he could. But I want to just do the silliness of this guy shooting into him. So two shots, four is to hit, no re-rolls. 
One hit, five to wound. Actually gets a wound. Three up save. Pfft, failed it. Oh my god. <clears throat> Since they've already spent their re-roll, so they can't re-roll that. One single guardsman did that. That's so silly. Alright, him. His range is 12 inches. <clears throat> He's actually going to shoot at this guy. <clears throat> One shot. It's long range, so four to hit. Rolls a one. Well, now we just go to Guardsman <clears throat> lighting up what they can. This guy's shooting into him. Four, two shots, four is to hit. Well, you know, one hit. Five to wound. Oh my god, actually gets a wound. Three up armor save. There we go, he saved it. <clears throat> Guardsmen do well today by just, you know, a few people. That's going to be insane. He's shooting it to him. Two shots, four to hit, one hit, five to wound. We've been getting a lot of wounds. And he failed his armor save. All right, this might go faster if this keeps being sh crap like this. This guy, two shots, four is to hit. One hit, five to wound. Gets a wound. Wow, he failed his armor save. We actually go to an entry roll. If it rolls a six, though, it doesn't matter. Roll that six. Um... Well, Guardsmen haven't spent their reroll yet because they only spent their command points for orders. So they'll spend their final command point to reroll roll the injury roll to get a flesh wound. They're fine with that. Flesh wounds actually matter for the Necrons. This guy doing two shots. Four is to hit. <clears throat> no hits. There we go. A guardsman finally misses. This guardsman, two shots, four is to hit. Nothing. This guardsman, two shots, four is to hit. One hit. Doesn't wound. Right, he advanced so he can't shoot. All right, this guy's got two shots at him. Two shots. I think that starts being obscured. I thought with his back to this, his shoulders would start getting obscured, but no, he's he's pretty out in the open. He's got the right angle, so two shots, four is to hit. One hit, five to wound. Doesn't wound. This guy, two shots, four is to hit. Nothing. <clears throat> And that is all the shooting. Man, if Guardsmen had gone, had the initiative, they would have been probably moving in spaces where the Necrons would have actually been able to declare charges during their movement phase. They thought they would survive getting shot at, but you didn't expect to roll uh, fail all of his armor saves. This one they suspected because of Plasma. Um, alright. Command points. Guardsmen are back up to two. Necrons are at three. Morale phase, um, Necrons are at half. He can't fail his leadership because it's 10. So, 
Round two. Who's got the initiative? Seven. Cardsman. Oh, boy. Well, they actually, do they want to put that many on there? Sure, because even if he goes to this group, this group's moving over here. <clears throat> and you have a group now spread out over there. So this guy now has the ability to start charging a lot of people. I'm going to ready up the two plasma guns. And this guy is going to be heroic and declare a charge on him. Since if he kills anyone, he can go three into consolidation, but to no one. So he is sacrificing himself because he can. This guy doesn't have any um, overwatch. And he's not going to fall back because if he falls back, he can't charge and then all these things can start lighting him up and he would have to fall back this way so he doesn't really want to do that so he's gonna let the guy charge him because he knows he can at least kill this guardsman if he lets this guy come in will he be within one he'll be within one so it's still a success. He almost failed it. Holy crap. So they're close enough. Now we go on to Necrons. Um, he can go from this guy to one of these two. So he's declaring a charge on this guy. This guy is... Well, how far away is he? If the guy rolls a six, he's okay. If he falls back three inches, can he go far enough? Yeah, he can get all the way up there. He can make it so the guy has to roll a nine. He's going to fall back. He's fine with that. The charge has already been declared. Make it a harder charge. Because if the guy fails, more guardsmen can light him up. So charge. Alright, Necrons are re-rolling that because that is a very crappy charge roll. Wow, Necrons have been rolling crap today. He's going to get closer. He's going to try. When you roll crap, it doesn't matter how good your tactics are. Even though their tactics might have been a little iffy of throwing this guy forward, but, you know, who knows. This guy. He's going to declare charge on all three of these. They all can see him. So we'll start with this guy, Overwatch. They will Overwatch instead of Falling back. This guy's got two hits. Can he get a wound out of that? He got a wound. And this guy has a three-up armor. You better frickin'... And they spend their command point to re-roll the space, because they re-rolled this charge. So he failed it, 
and he lost his final wound, and they do an injury roll. It's a flesh wound. Guardsmen haven't done a re-roll this phase. They spent a command point... Okay, they were at... What do they spend a command point to do? Hold on. Did they re-roll something? They started the phase at three. And I see that they were down to two before spending the command point to re-roll this. What did they re-roll? So they wouldn't have re-rolled a charge. Was it just, are they supposed to be down to two? So they didn't re-roll this guy's charge. So they almost did. I think I'm just, I think I might have just screwed up, I might have just accidentally messed with the um, counter because I don't see, maybe I was just reading this wrong. Okay, they're spending a command point to reroll that because I can't remember a reroll. Editing, I will be able to go back in time and verify if I fuck this up. But they're going to try to reroll this. Well, they got the six and brings them back up to full health. <laughs> oh, not full health. Back up to one wound. And now this guy can overwatch too. He can see. He rolls his snake eyes. So now this guy's going to charge. Oh. I see what happened. I accidentally moved my counter down on guardsmen down on command points when they spent the reroll for this guy's charge. So that's what happened. Right, this guy can go over terrain, so he's just going to go boop right into there. There we go. Now I've got the right command points. Right? No, no, no. Necron started with three and went down to two. And guard go down to one. Oh, right. Okay, no, no, no. I, I, my counters were right, and I could re-roll. Now my can counters are correct. Guardsmen are at one. Necrons are at two, because Necrons started the round with three. I thought guards started with three, but they did. Brain is fixed. Okay. <laughs> Brain is fixed. Yeah, right. Um, well, that's all the um, movement phase. Now we go on to the top of the shooting phase. He's going to give the orders to him, fix bayonets. So he's going to immediately fight as if it's the fight phase. So he gets his one attack. That's going to hit on a four. He can use his ba He hits. Five to wound, though. Okay, if he wounded, I would have been just like, you got to be kidding me. These guardsmen are great today. Shooting. Well, some people can shoot him, so we'll start with him. Two shots, fours to hit. Two hits, fives to wound. One wound. If you fail your three up, okay, you passed your three up. You will pass your six up. Him, two shots, fours to hit. Two hits, fives to wound. No wounds. This guy cannot see. This guy is still within double tap range, so two shots, fours to hit. No hits. Man, I hope when they finally get out and whatever their new updates or whatever's happening with the kill team, I'm really hoping that we get veteran guards. Because then they would be hitting on threes, but then there would be fewer models too. Um, this guy, he can only do the one shot, so it's long range, five to hit. Hits, five to wound, doesn't wound. This guy, not long range, so two shots, fours to hit, two hits, fives to wound. One wound, one three up save. Failed it. They'll spend a command point to re-roll that because, you know, they don't want him to keep failing. He 
passes, and it's the shooting phase, and these are the only things people shooting. One long range shot. That is obscured, so six to hit. Doesn't hit. And Plasma might have some long range shots that they could do. They both have a long range shot. We'll start with this guy. Um, these bodies do obscure. So it's long range, obscured, one shot, six to hit. You'll still overcharge because he's Cadian and he didn't move, so he could still reroll once. Doesn't hit. Combs will add one to his shot roll. He'll do one shot at this guy. It's just long range. So, four to hit, and he's going to overcharge. He's the sniper, so he gets to reroll ones, but he's also Cadian, so he rerolls ones regardless. Reroll that one, and gets a hit. Still three to wound. Wounds. This guy has no end bomb, so it's a six up save for him. Failed it. Can't reroll that. That goes through both wounds and goes to twos. Have they spent to re-roll this phase? No, they re-rolled the injury roll from this guy. So they spend a command point to re-roll this injury roll. Ha! Ah, they got the five instead of the six, so dead. So, success. Oh my lord. They're actually doing short work of these Necrons by spreading out. Well, then again, this is a tough list to beat of Guardsmen. It's actually really strong because of how many models. Especially with doing the going around spots around there. They're truly full control of the board. Granted, victory points are by how many models each team takes out. And then, you know... The, the objectives they're on at the end. But I think it also says if a team is broken, they automatically win. So, you know, they break the Necrons, they win. But seriously, if the game had, like, continues after they, like, get on the objectives, they're pretty much winning. So we go on to melee. Starting with charged models and starting with guardsmen. This guy gets to punch again. One attack, four to hit, doesn't hit. This guy. He's got two attacks. He's got the Awakened with Murder, so he gets to reroll failed hit rolls in the fight phase. Because he charged. So he'll put one there, one there. So we'll start with the one on this guy with a terrible base. Hits. Uh, strength five, so three to wound. Wounds, AP minus three. Oh, each time the bear fights, he can make one additional attack with this weapon. So he'll put the third attack there. So he's got three attacks. He'll put one on each guy. So uh, anyway, the AP minus three on there clearly goes through his armor. So he's got an injury roll on that. Dead. The attack on him. Hits. Um, doesn't, it's not two to wound. So... Does he want to re-roll that? Sure, he'll re-roll that. Wounds. Flesh wound. And I did say he was within the one there. Yeah, that's definitely... So the third attack on this guy. Hits. Wounds. Goes through. De injury. Dead. So he killed two guys, but left one alive. Now punching back, starting with Guardsman, we'll do this guy, he's got his flesh wound. He'll hit back, five to hit, doesn't hit. If he if he was the one that took this guy out, I'd be just like, you gotta be kidding me. Now this guy, who's got an injury, he was the combat specialist. So he's got three attacks, gets a reroll, fail to hit rolls. Um, but that means he can only reroll ones and twos. If he rolls threes, it's not... He can't re-roll those. So he can't re-roll this one, but he can re-roll this one. 
And those two hit. So two hits. Strength six. So two's to wound. Two wounds. They both go through because it's saving last three, and it's damage one. <laughs> They've already spent command points three rolls, so just a flesh wound. <laughs> wow, just a lot of flesh wounds. So we'll take away these markers. Shooting has commenced. We'll go morale phase. Do Garzman even have to care? This guy's got mm, no one within two. Okay. So we'll roll for this guy. That would become a seven. I'm pretty sure that's a fail. Yep, Guardsman our leadership six, so he failed. But Voxcaster is still in the field, so he can re-roll. That becomes a six, he passes. This guy. Failed, re-roll because Vox is still in the field. Eh, he failed. So this guy's shaking, they can't pull him out of combat. So Guardsman didn't have to do a break test. Necrons actually have to do a break test. Which they pass. This guy, pass. You know, he rolls a six, he still passes, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. Round three. Who has the initiative? Guardsmen have the initiative. Until so Token stays over there. They're just here for if someone starts taking morale checks. They're all together. All together now. All together now. You know what? These two will ready up. Plasma's actually going to move over here. Ready. No, he can't ready up. He moved. Ready up. Ready up. Can't give orders to a shaken model. This guy will fall back. Now we move on to Necron's turn. Oh, this guy fell back. He can't move. But I think at this time he can actually choose to ready up, so he will ready up. Um, we start... Oh, right. Command points. Both teams go up to two. So they both spent all the command points. So they're both at two. Um, orders start immediately. He's going to give the one where this guy can shoot after falling back, so... He's now ready to shoot. Oh, he should have moved. Okay, whatever. He fell back that way and it was... He did what he did. I think now he makes this guy's shot obscured, but... Um, since we start with guard, he will shoot first. Because this guy gets to shoot next. So comms will add to his shot roll. To make it fours to hit, he will overcharge because he didn't move, so it's still reroll ones. They'll spend a command point to reroll one of those just because this they don't want to be able to shoot. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. He's shooting at the guy with the plasma because that makes the most sense. Um, yep, not long range, so just... Four to hit because of the sandbags make it obscure. All right, he's re-rolling that. Let's just get the re-rolls out of the way. And he still failed to hit. This guy will over uh, overcharge fire two shots. Fours to hit because comms can't add to him because he already added to the other guy. 
Both hit. Three's to wound. One wound. One six up save for him. Failed it. Injury roll. Okay. Wound comes back because they can't. They've already done their re-roll, so they can't re-roll the fail and the oops on that. Let's just do comms firing next. Two shots. Fives to hit because this guy obscures. One hit. Five to wound. Actually gets a wound. He gets his three-up armor. Failed it. Injury roll. That is... A flesh wound. Let me double check something. Alrighty. I was double checking some rules. First of all, if a team has flesh wounds at the in the nerve, uh, like at the end of morale phase, they will autom their team will automatically break. Obviously, they don't want to cause potential sixes to roll. So I was seeing, can they select shooting models to pass. It actually specifically says you just keep going until both players pass, you know, until all players have in succession have passed on shooting. I can choose to pass. It's only in the fight phase does it say if a model can fight, it has to fight. Which this guy is shaken, so he can't fight. So guardsmen are going to pass for the rest of the shooting. Because then we go on to the fight phase, and it's only this guy who will get to attack, because this guy can't. So he has to fight. Um, he can't re-roll that. Well, also, he wasn't charged this turn, but he was forced to hit because of injury. Slice. Dice-ish? So... At the end of the morale phase, guardsmen clearly still have their models intact. Necrons automatically break. They got that forced. Battle ends because um, one team is unbroken. And the unbroken team automatically wins. So guardsmen win. Wow. They mostly won because Necrons failed their saves. And they spread out like crazy to prevent chaining melees. <clears throat> but that went terribly for the um, Necrons. I mean, different terrain layout maybe would have caused differences. But as long as the guard can keep just declaring all those advances and getting as many people surrounding everything. I mean, if, even at the if the battle ended right now... Guardsmen contain two. Um, I mean, we would have to actually roll to see if that how that. No, they would spend a command point, make that guy automatically pass his morale check because then contest this objective. So no one has this objective. Necrons hold that one. They hold two. They clearly have more objectives. Objectives are worth three victory points, so they'd gain that. And the victory points from models out of action. Cancel each other out because they both have um, models out. So, yeah. Guardsmen crushed. Have a fabulous day, everybody. Wow, that was a great battle between Guard and Necrons. So if you like that, you should go watch more. Or, you know, subscribe.